given let us discuss this example so in this example we have this set u and we have to prove that it is open subset of r2 with a euclidean distance let us try to understand what is set u so u is a collection of all points of r2 okay which will satisfy this condition 3x plus 4y less than 1 if you consider is equal to 1 here we will have 3x plus 4y is equal to 1 that means this is equation of straight line in this diagram i have already shown it that is 3x plus 4y is equal to 1 but see they have mentioned it is less than 1 less than 1 that means the region which lies in one side of this line so that region is also i have shown right so now we have to prove that it is an open set we have a very simple technique to prove a set is open we take any arbitrary point and we find a ball around it which will entirely lies inside a set getting so let us take one arbitrary point let a b belongs to u b any arbitrary point okay so i have taken one arbitrary point so now what will i do see uh, let me show it here suppose we have some point a comma b in a region so now we have to find a, a radius around ab okay that means we have to find a ball with center ab and radius r which will entirely lies inside set u so ab belongs to u that means point ab satisfies the condition of u so ab satisfy condition of u so that's why we can write 3a plus 4b less than 1 shall i shift it there so what will we have so 0 less than 1 minus 3a minus 4b okay so late i am selecting my radius radius is 1 minus 3a minus 4b divided by 3 plus 4 7 so this is my radius obviously it is greater than 0 since already we have seen it is greater than 0 we are dividing any positive real number by 7 so obviously we will have a positive real number r is greater than 0 so now we have got an r so now we have to prove that open ball with center a b and radius r which is subset of u this thing we have to prove right so now my claim so my claim is open ball with center a b radius r subset of u don't forget the definition of r here huh? let us go further so yes how to prove that one set is subset of other that thing also we have a uh, technique for that so we select one point from first set and we prove that it is in second set so we say the first set is subset of second set let i'm selecting one point x y belongs to open ball with center a b radius r okay so we take one point from this set we have to prove that it is in u so we can say this is subset of u see x y belongs to this open ball so i'm selecting one point x y belongs to this open ball that means distance of that point from center is less than radius so therefore we can write therefore distance of x y from a b is less than radius this this distance is euclidean distance so you are familiar with the definition of euclidean distance so this is square root of x minus a square plus y minus b square less than r so you are familiar with the next step after that we take square of both sides to remove square root let me do that so implies x minus a square plus y minus b square less than r square we are adding two non-negative terms and their sum is less than r square that means each of them is less than r square so implies x minus a square less than r square and y minus b square that is also less than r square now to remove squares i will take positive square root of both sides so we'll have mod x minus a less than r and mod y minus b less than r so we are familiar with that result mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b so that result i'm going to apply okay let me write y here so that by using that result minus r less than x minus a less than r and minus r less than y minus b less than r this thing we have got okay so yes so after that what will i do we are not interested in that minus r so i will focus on that part only so implies x minus a less than r and uh, y minus b sorry let me write huh so y minus b less than r let me shift a on that side so x less than a plus r and y less than b plus r getting now so actually we were not interested in minus r so we removed that part 
we focus on this inequality these two inequalities only we shifted a and b on another side this thing we have got so see what is my target my target is to bring this equation getting what is my target to bring this inequality or equation you can say so see for that i should multiply 3 on all sides so let us multiply 3x less than 3a plus 3r right and i should multiply 4 on all sides both sides so that means 4y less than 4b plus 4r okay we have reached up to this step after that there is addition of these two terms so here also obviously i will add these two inequalities see but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so if you add these two inequalities see what will you get 3x plus 4y we added left hand side let us send right hand side also 3a plus 4b plus 3r plus 4r save r okay so you do you remember the definition of r so we had defined in r this way r is equal to i think uh, it is 1 minus 3a minus 4b by 7 this was the definition of r let me remove this one it is not required okay yes this was definition of r and we have got 7r so if i shift 7 here we will have the value of 7r that value of 7r we can put here so this is equal to 3a plus 4b its value will be plus 1 minus 3a minus 4b so what will happen plus 3a minus 3 will get cancelled 4 4b minus 4, 4b will get cancelled we will have one only so therefore 3x plus 4y we have got this less than okay less than one so it satisfy the condition getting so 3x plus 4y less than one same condition so it satisfy the condition therefore we can declare xy is element of u see therefore we can write a conclusion now we had taken point xy from a ball right with center a b and radius r and we proved that that xy is in u so therefore therefore what can we say this open ball with center a b radius r is subset of u getting since every element of this ball is element of u so therefore it is subset of u so actually we started with one any arbitrary point a b and we found that there is a ball around it which is subset of u so that means u satisfies the definition of open set so therefore you can declare u is open in r2 with euclidean distance with euclidean distance okay so in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye